I really respected Joe Budden, and yeah. he's like a huge inspiration for me content-wise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the way he did me dirty in that situation, yeah. just because he was salty because I fucking massacred him on his own podcast. Damn. That hurt. You did that? That's kind of when I realized, like, oh, that's why everybody hates him in the industry. Yeah, he's good at what he does, though. Yeah. I just did his podcast. Did you? He had all of them come at me. All and of when them. I left the room, they all submitted and said they were winos. That whole room together don't equal up to one thousand. It was like, you're tearing down the black community. I said, oh, yeah? The black community said the same thing about you, too, Joe. Yeah. I said, when you supposedly kick the, the girlfriend ribs out and the baby out of stomach and shit like that. I mean, that's it. You said that? Yeah. What'd he say? <laughs> Whoa. He probably edited that shit out. <laughs> you think he edited that out? He probably edited that shit out. But I was just like, we're not going to do this because... You notice I didn't report on that because I knew it was bullshit. Like, if you really keep the baby out of that girl's stomach, she wouldn't have went back okay. as many times as she did. She, and she wouldn't have taken money to go back. But that's the standard? Is you if a girl goes back, then it didn't happen? No, 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 no. She got paid to go back loving hip-hop. Really? Yeah. So, okay. you know, it, the thing about it is, like, I, I want to protect our black women. And I don't think they should be getting, you know, beat or, or hands. But, some, you know, New York girls, they, they the type, they want to hit you upside the head and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And when you hitting somebody that's an ex-crackhead upside the head like Joe Budden, right. you know what I'm saying? He liable to snap. Well, and he, so back then, he, he was on that molly real hard. Yeah, he was like an e-tard, not a you crackhead. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was an e-tard. <laughs> you hit a motherfucker under the influence, bitch. He not going to remember knocking your ass out. Actually, you he's <laughs> most of the love in hip-hop I've watched throughout my career. And that is the fascinating thing is kind of observing the way he's moving and trying to guess exactly what drugs he was on at that see? time. Yeah. And then you fighting a motherfucker. That's like getting into, getting into a street fight with a crackhead out here in L.A. Right. You liable to get your motherfucking ass whooped. And that's what I found out when I went on this fucking Amazon show is like, what, what am I doing trusting this crackhead? And it's crazy, though, because I had multiple very, very respected people in the industry tell me, don't go do content with Joe right now but because he has Joe. no decency. I love Joe. I found I really out the do. hard way. I yeah. love Joe. I just I think to. as broadcasters, we take it personal when our names are in the title. Yeah. Like, we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I do the news just like you. So what the fuck are we talking about? Right. You see what I'm saying? But um, I knew. They but I also, I saw Joe Biden saying that my channel is irrelevant. Last time I checked, we did like 50 million views last month oh. his channel got 10 million so what are we talking about i'm irrelevant on five times your ass shots fired and that's the clips channel and the main channel but shots, i don't know i don't know I, I just I don't mean, you have been doing this longer though but i don't you yeah, have right. you've you, been fucking hanging out with tahiri on youtube since 2005 yeah but i'm talking about doing you've been building no jumper for years yeah and i was like a fan of him for the majority yeah. of, like way before 2015 i started yeah. doing it. he's been doing it way longer i was watching his shit when i started it yeah yeah so anyway but shots fired that's i stay out of men business yeah. <laughs> That's my <me> business. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I mean. But uh, I had a really good time on his podcast and they, they didn't shy away from nothing. And I like that because, you mm -hmm. know, I can hold my own and, you right. know, they all had their perceptions because, you know, when you type my name in the, in the search engine, it gives nothing but bad shit. Right. So for them to really get to know me because I normally don't do interviews. Well, from my experience going on their show, they don't tend to do a lot of research and they don't really come prepared. No, I don't think they would. They didn't prepared. really come prepared for you? No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. They act no. like they take it all serious, but then they don't they really don't. seem like they're doing their homework. No. Mm -mm. Okay. I, got I think guy. he has them doing them have he has them doing so many shows that they don't really know like it, it's just like You think just, Melissa Ford machine. is going to last over there? Um Yes and no. They're trying to cook up drama saying she's trying to fuck ish. Nah, she's not. She's really nice though. I think she's great. She's a very nice person. And I love, and, me, and you know, me and my assistant Chelsea was talking about this. Like, a lot of girls that came from her era are yeah. OnlyFans, selling pussy, doing whatever they got to do, right? But she's really trying to make a different, you know, make a name for herself and talk and to, to share her experiences. You think she's like meant that. to last over there? I think her energy is going to, because when we were, when I was talking and arguing with them. Right. And they were trying to tell me it's fucked up that I would put out, you know, a preacher and his, you know, get, uh, 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 you know, getting his dick sucked by another bitch. And, you know, he has a wife and kids. And I was like, wait a minute, a do fuck. you knock your, do you lock your door at night? And they was like, yeah. So why do you lock your door at night? To keep, keep your house safe, right? So why the fuck would you unlock your door and let a bitch into your house knowing you a public figure to suck your dick? Knowing you got a wife and kids, that's not my responsibility. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I keep order in the black community. And so they were like, that's really fucked up. And, and you know, she was over there like, yes, say it. But she never would say anything. And I was right. just like, but I think it, because of the amount of energy in that room, like, 
you know, and, and you know, she likes skin. You know, they just, I, I guess it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. When she went over there, she was supposed to start her own podcast under her, his network. And then she kind of bailed out of it because she felt like she had work to do on her public personality. She does have work to do. Yeah. She does have. But yeah, I don't know if she could have her own But she's a, very, she's a very nice person. I think if she does it with other women, you know, she would do well. But because her personality is so mellow, right? Like she's a very mellow person, it's gonna be hard to to find someone who's gonna be less mellow. Because you know you can't have no one with more energy than the host. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you gotta have a live wire to you do. Really you keep do. that thing going. Yeah. So, yeah. but I think um, you know I I like that they added her because I you know it's so much misogyny in that room. Right. And I think it's nice to have a female perspective, but she's giving very much Angela Yee right now and mm -hmm. how Angela Yee was at the Breakfast Club. Right. You know? I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.